This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com in review. And what I'm looking at today is 2018's Extracurricular, directed by Ray Jue. And this is an interesting movie. Interesting not necessarily in a good way. And if you haven't heard of this movie, I was unaware of it before I actually saw it. It revolves around a group of four friends, high school overachievers, in fact. And they just happen also to be psychopaths. And so the movie opens with a couple on vacation at a cabin in some remote area. And they're killed by these mysterious assailants who are these young people I mentioned earlier. The problem isn't that you have young people killing people. That's not unusual. What is is that they seemingly have no reason for doing so other than perhaps boredom, but even that isn't something that the movie states. It's only what I assume. And that's really weird. And you combine it with the fact that the four actors who play these young people are fairly bland and not terribly interesting. It makes the movie really curious, as in, why is this happening? It, nothing about it sinks. As I said, you have four students who are all doing quite well in school. Their parents seem very well off, and so they decide to kill people. And the movie implies that they've been doing this for quite a while. Only recently, in the movie's timeline, is it beginning to catch up to them. But, once again, why are they doing this? People get bored all the time, though they don't typically result to murder to busy themselves. The movie is well acted, it's well shot, it looks like a movie. That's a good thing. What's not a good thing is that it's curiously underwritten, and the protagonists, in this case, the four young people, are at the center of the movie. Now, rules are made to be broken, and typically you don't want your antagonist to be at the center of your movie. Though, if a director does do that, the antagonist tends to have an interesting story, something that involves a viewer, that if it doesn't get the viewer on their side, at least engages them. These young people are so bland. They're very uninteresting as characters. And that's a problem when the movie is built around them. So, you have numerous instances of them plotting to kill people. Once again, we don't know why. It's not like they're blank slates. It's that they're just not very interesting. And so, I was wondering, why is the movie revolving around these people? If the movie had perhaps speculated on why they were doing what they were doing, that might be interesting. But the movie gave us more information about them as characters, that might have been more interesting. For instance, there are scenes earlier in the film that implies that one of the four young people is bullied. There are scenes that implies another of them has an overbearing father. But as I said, they're only implications. Throughout the entire movie, you see one suggestion of bullying, but beyond that, nothing. You see a suggestion that the father is overbearing. Beyond that, nothing. As I said, the movie revolves around these four people, but these four people are deadly not interesting. It is not enjoyable to watch them, and it's not interesting to watch them which gives the movie this odd, nihilistic feel to it. And the thing is, it's not a particularly violent movie. There is violence, but it's nothing that you haven't seen done much more intensely in other places. But the thing is, it's revolving around people who aren't really characters. So you don't care, and you wonder why this is happening. Extracurricular, story-wise, is virtually the same movie as them. But the difference is, and it's a huge difference, what the directors of them, or Eves, understood is that what 
the directors of them, or is, understood is that you need to build your movie around characters people can root for, that people will hope survives whatever is happening to them. So therefore, in the case of them, all the action revolves around this couple who are renovating a house. The antagonists of the movie are little seen. And in fact, in them, we don't know who the antagonists of the movie are, in fact, until probably the last third of the movie. That's when we really understand what's happening. That movie is great. If you haven't seen them or is, check it out. It is really, really good. So you root for the couple in them because you understand that they're being terrorized for seemingly no reason at all. And when you do understand why the young people in them are doing what they're doing, it gets even scarier because it's a genuinely terrifying motivation. With extracurricular, they have no motivation. As I mentioned earlier, they're very well off, they're very successful. They have everything in the world. So why are they doing this? The movie doesn't even try to answer that question. The characters are, once again, as I've said, fairly bland and uninteresting. It is a pity that the movie doesn't give them some sort of agency because I don't mind a good horror movie at all. Just help me understand why characters are doing what they're doing. I don't have to like it, but give me a reason. Give me a justification for their actions. And extracurricular never does that. Though, I should mention, it seems to be trying to. There's allusions to the state of education contributing to what they're doing. But once again, I don't want implications. I don't want allusions to. Tell me why this is happening. There are lots of ways to do it, but the point being, don't leave it for me to fill in blanks that the movie should have filled. Extracurricular is watchable, and I'd have to say that I see relatively few movies that aren't watchable. That doesn't make them good. Extracurricular is not a good movie. And the pity of it is, is that for it to be a good movie, all it would take is to give these characters agency. Let the viewer know why they're doing this. It doesn't have to make sense. We don't have to like it. But let us know nonetheless. As things stand, it's just a bunch of psychopaths doing what they do for reasons. As I mentioned, things are implied and hinted at but not in a way that satisfies. Extracurricular is currently on Tubi, and you might want to give it a watch and judge for yourself. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com interview. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.